So I took the weekend off and came to Wyoming. Ran a snowmobile since we don't got enough snow at home and I'm having a blast. Just me and a buddy out here. Laura stayed home and having a grand old time. My buddy is on a Skidoo 150, 165. This is a Skidoo 850 Summit X 154. And it's just like none other out here. So good. Lights on. It's not the morning. Who is she kidding? Okay, Grant's really calling me out. We, we've been doing book work all it's day. It's the That's afternoon. I just say good morning, but out of habit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually the afternoon. We've been sorting out all our grain and taking care of all of our new year things. It's just a wintertime thing, even though it is it's so nice. Outside. So nice. Outside. I think the highs for the next five days are in the 60s. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, but Grant did get his full of snow. I am back. Didn't die. I did wreck a snowmobile. Smacked the tree. So So he's gotten his first yeah, snowmobiling out of the way for the year. So hopefully that means no accidents when he's back here in Nebraska. But I think he enjoyed Wyoming. So now it's time to get to work. What are we doing today, Grant? Do we uh, even know yet? We're going to move the big fuel tanks in the yard. Okay. At some point, so we gotta empty the fuel tank that's there. So we gotta bring the fuel trailer there. So we can empty it. And then we gotta return your dad's mini excavator to him. Okay. And so that means lots of moving fuel around, filling things up, hooking onto trailers, transporting things, and we gotta do some book work along the way. Okay, so logistics. <laughs> lots of logistics. So come along with us. <laughs> uncle got us for Christmas. It's in John Deere green and it's a water bottle and it has my entire intro in it on it. Isn't that cute? This one says Grant's name and then I have one that says my name on it. What a good Christmas gift. You ready to go? I think so. Are you? I think so. All right. Hit the road, Jack. Well, so we're going to hook this trailer, this truck onto a trailer and then go get another truck. Should well, we get the old truck out? Sure, why not? Think you can get this thing started? We're gonna try. It's been a few months since we've ran it. Gotta check it for sure check it for mice. No mice. Oh, it matches your shirt. I know. I think we should just call this truck almost, the Bummer Dude truck. It's almost like I designed it to be like that. Are the battery cables connected? You think? Probably. Oh, pump pump the gas. 
There you go. One more try. Okay. Who knows? Do I need to like tap on something? I cranked on it for a while. Don't put your fingers anywhere in there. <laughs> oh. I think I cranked on it three too many times. Let's go get the battery charger. Too short. So close. Ugh. That can't be good. Oh, she'll start now. Oh, yeah. Oh, bummer, dude. <laughs> There you go. Adjustable. Very handy. Help. <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness. It's so you always have a. Yeah, look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. Someone get this man some new hitch pins. This is ridiculous. This thing is perfectly fine. Look, the handle's not even smashed. I don't know about that. It ain't that. going nowhere. I don't know about that. You good there? We're good now. Okay, look really closely. I have been waiting months for this to happen. We have this pair of pigeons that lives um, right over here in the awning and I opened up the door on the roof in our little bin here and I'm waiting for the pigeons to go in there and live in there because I've always wanted pet pigeons and they're finally showing interest in it. I'll keep you guys updated. We're loading up the excavator now.
Grant always makes some comment about how I'm just not pulling hard enough on the door to get out. I trapped him in here. <laughs> now he knows it really is hard to get out of the passenger side. Good luck. <laughs> it's my master plan. He's stuck in here forever. <laughs> Stopped at the post office and look at all these goodies I got. Merry Christmas. Grant just could not resist taking the mini excavator through the McDonald's drive through Seems to be a recurring theme around here. Oh, and it cleared. We're good. <laughs> um, an important thing to note, never try to back something off of a, uh, like a tilt bed trailer without first undoing these. Very important. Grant is just going to back the excavator off the back of the trailer and the whole trailer will tilt back. I really, really like this trailer a lot. I remember when buying this, Grant went back and forth and back and forth like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. And now we use this trailer at least once a week. This is my favorite part. So satisfying. Well, we finally made it to my farm now that it's the it's, very end yeah. of the day. What Five time is it? Five o'clock? I guess far I guess farmers don't really believe in end That's of the day the clocks. Working on two farms. It gets a little <laughs> tricky, but I think Grant and I finished up all our logistics for the day. The main thing was a fuel barrel and uh or i guess grant's mobile fuel trailer the thunder crick not creek <laughs> yeah and, and getting that excavator mini return, excavator return so and deposit checks deposit and checks mail time. and uh, i got some mail and we sorted through a whole bunch of grain statements from last year so yeah. <sighs> busy winter day i guess this is about as exciting as it gets for the winter time but thanks Grant. yeah thank you see you later thanks for watching subscribe <laughs> oh oh i forgot to mention grant grant and i are matching today this is our brand new things the uh bummer dude sweatshirts and i've got these linked in the description thanks hey laura Laura's the one doing all the work here. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Ready to move?